The ale should leave the lakeside. Strange. You don't speak like one from me. Such a long journey here. Did the Lady of the Lake appear to you? Alvin admires you. I love weddings. An honest woman. Witcher, those noon wraiths keep us from work in the fields. Well. Not for free, I know. May that miser Hoffman part with some coin to end this problem. Where did the noon wraiths come from? They are midday demons, appearing when the sun reaches its zenith. Even children know that. I'm happy to learn more. Noon wraiths are born of heat, grief, and the plowboy's sweat drops. They dance in the sun and draw in careless wanderers. No man has ever survived a dance with the noon wraiths. They depart when the sun sets and return when the sun reaches high in the sky again. Thanks for the tale. Shame. The hermit in the fields possesses more books than any here. He serves the lady. How can I help? One thing. Yes?
How can I help? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. Alvin admires you. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt devourers. I await your catch. What do you want? Glad to see someone tending to the monsters around here. No problem. Though I can't offer you coin, know that I appreciate what you do. Like I said, no problem. Please accept this small token. I use this whetstone to sharpen my scythe, but you may also use it on your sword. I'm sure it'll be useful. Maybe I should move. Greetings! What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves... A witcher is like a magical warrior. 
I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. I have other specialties. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Gladly. There you are, bless you. Any work? Yes, I am having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus? I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I'll take the job. Deal. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A folk spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'll help. Not a word to my wife. You asked for help. What did you want me to do? Bring me nine handfuls of shadow dust. To do that, go to the fields and kill several devourers, from which you can scrape the dust. Farewell. Lean year ahead of us. Witcher. Well, not for free. I. I must. Betalina. The elf should leave the lake side. Oh, my back aches. Yes, no. Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. Beastie Beta? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious, driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? 
Any non-human- Ale, there is- I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working, and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Five Alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised. Beastie Beta? I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiba. Farewell. Monster Slayers always find employment here. Did the Lady of the Lake appear to you? Have she you heard of Dimpy Mary? Turned into a swan by the Lady of the Lake. More witches wander the roads Such in Such a long youth. journey Come here. Dying yeah. 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 appear to you? My plants will wilt if this drought holds up. Are you a gardener? I meant my wild herbs. Verbena, ribwort, aloe. Tell me about these herbs. I'd gladly do it, if you bring me something sweet. Interested in herbs? Who could have known? I can teach you to recognize some of them. I'm all ears. For example, Verbena, or Verven as they call it in Bullsville, has small blossoms and egg-shaped leaves. The blossoms are useful for fighting fevers and for peeing troubles. Thank you. Don't mention it. Old women rarely find such generous listeners.
Yes? I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. Yes? Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian. Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Farewell. Papa promised he'd fish an enchanted ring out of the underwater city. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lake. I dreamt of a world encased in ice. A refreshing dream in heat like this. <laughs> uh, for a drink. me a sword like yours? Ah, women! 